My Kufan and Melunin and well mess indeed. I'm Arachir Galadirthan, head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer. Welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the Ar Ardenayim. If you missed our last episode, we are gearing up for war with the dwarves of Eridluin again. Um, which is, will probably be where the campaign ends. My plan is to, as you can see, take Isengard and hold a line at the Eisen River and at the gap in the White Mountains so that we don't have to fight Mordor just yet and then attack and defeat the dwarves and that will be our victory condition. Of course the Orcs of the Misty Mountains already won quite some time ago so the victory conditions are no longer listed. Um, I believe our victory conditions are 60 regions um, but in the interest of not um, just going on forever, I feel like a, a more crystalline goal is worthwhile. And in this case, it will be the defeat of the Dwarves of Ered Luin. And no one really wants to see me fight Mordor because late game Mordor is boring as hell. And we're not likely to cross the mountains through the Misty Mountains lands and on... And in any event, then, you're just fighting derivatives of Mordor, either the Misty Mountains or Dol Guldur. And in either of those cases, I'm not about that. So we shall defeat the dwarves and that will be our ending. As you can see, our armies are already moving into position to border them. We've got Dunabel the Chivalrous yes. moving to Royal Tharba. You'll note we have an army standing outside of Barketa and our main army at the moment led by Zimrathon is heading in to take Bree. Punch at their gut. Everywhere else is training units and they're all being shifted and focus is being turned on the dwarves. So that's where we are. In the east, however, of course, we are attacking both Gund and Isengard. So we are really tightening the noose on Isengard. They will die, unfortunately, because we've crippled them so much that Mordor will now walk over them, um, which is a bit of a, an oversight on my part, I suppose. Orders. Oh, no, you can train too. Yes, please. Add that lot in. Any retraining? No. No, 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 no. I think we're in end turn, so we'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I should also wish you all a very happy Join new year, of course, as this episode was recorded on the first day of Splitting January 2019, or 2019, as we usually say here uh, in the Isles. And, we uh, must so, happy new year. Stand. We are besieged. I do plan to do the Archer Top 10 in the coming, uh, ideally, month. Um, I had hoped to do it in this week off I've had from work between Christmas and New Year, but um, I've had an awful lot of other bits and bobs going on, and I wanted to take, as I said in the last The Gundabad episode, I wanted to take a day of absolutely nothing, waking up, playing games, going to bed. Um, and so with all of those things in mind, I haven't yet been able to do any orders. Um, top 10 stuff. Oh, look at that army. <clears throat> Already sound as a pound. And there's more to come. Brilliant. Uh, we don't have a general. Zimrathon, have you got two? No. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Booger. We don't have any generals in the north. I I abandoned the north entirely. Orders. As you wish. Your will, my lord. By your we have Gahuzanar, despite the fact it has no garrison now, still likes us, which is a phenomenal achievement. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. Are we making any money? Oh, yeah, we're still doing all right. Now, Isengard, I'm not sure whether I want to attack them because they'll get the garrison. But equally, everyone likes to see custom battle maps and it'd be good to see it. Chief Lurtz is trapped in Gund where Isengard are mustering to support him. Goodness, that's going to be a battle and I don't think we're going to win Lord it. Lord my Lord. We'll see. Castle Good Hope. I can't believe they've attacked us there, though. I'm gonna in fact, I think we should you. rally out now and get it out of the way. Kill the boogers. To battle. We have more men, but they obviously have better men. But no, I think we'll be all right. I think that we should be a double. I have absolutely no idea what to do after the Ar Ardenaim. Obviously, in the channel's history, I've branched out into other games, specifically other Total War games and just various other strategy games. And to date, they have never, ever been as popular as any of the Total War Divide and Conquer content on the channel. I did not mean to press start battle straight away. That was very foolish. Um, is everyone at the front? Oh, we're all right anyway. Um, and so it would therefore suggest that um, people still want to see Divide and Conquer. And of course, Divide and Conquer is the most likely thing for me to do because the whole purpose of this channel 
was to generate publicity for Divide and Conquer. So I will probably do a new Divide and Conquer campaign and we will likely put it to a vote. But rather than take rather than put every faction in there and then just not choose the one the not choose the one that wins, which I've done in the past, I think I will just put in the ones I would want to do and then you have to choose from that. Um and, we'll, and we, we can go from there. I mean, there'll probably be a large calling for Angmar, and I wouldn't say no, actually, to an Angmar campaign, because I'd love to use their new units in battle. Um, so that would that's almost certainly going to win, to be honest. It depends very much if the Ardenheim campaign concludes before we release version 2.3, because at the point that you can all play as Angmar, you might not be as interested in seeing me play as Angmar, because you'd want to do it yourselves. Archers into positions, javelins into positions, and then um, if those of you who are going to be doing the fighting all go up here, oh dear, oh dear. Run away! I oh, just pressed the window ski. Oh dear, this has gone terribly. I am almost certainly going to lose. <laughs> oh dear, I have been caught completely with my trousers down. Feel free to actually run. That's what double clicking does. Those pikemen are going to massacre those units. Oh dear, this is an absolute. This has just been a shambles from start to finish. Go on, run all the way out. Yes, they're out, they're done. Tell you what, let's use you as a morale shock. Shooting on those crossbows. They're doing all right. That infantry. So I think we are going to win, but with luck, really, just <laughs> by poor form. Come on, break, break! They're having none of it. Absolutely none of it. Very frustrating. At least the pikemen are being held. Oh no, the pikemen are actually probably decimating us. Um, how many infantry are left? 37. Who can we pull out of that? Raiders. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Run through them, run through them. Oh no, the pikes are getting murdered. He's lost half oh yeah, General flees it's like over. He is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Oh, thank goodness for that. The benefits of having a general, I suppose. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Kalatar the infantryman, well done, sir. You have succeeded where I have failed. 82 as Vizier Marines, well done. Well done indeed. Now that, I should imagine, is an artist's depiction perhaps of Minas Tirith, but in truth it looks an awful lot like a um, town in the Tuscany region of Italy. Specifically, 
this very Roman slash Greek looking, um, whatever this is, structure here. But of course, the large tower over there suggests fantasy. Because those kinds of towers are incredibly rare in um, in real world, especially ones where the tower is that large in comparison to the actual building. They just don't tend to happen. Glory, honor, victory. I don't know what the retraining of them is about because we can't recruit them. Oh, that means that that's not going to happen because I'm going to do other things. So that was a waste of time. Might as well leave them there, though. Well done, men. We've kept Castle Good Hope now. I think we probably should go for Isengard. How many uh, yes, garrison troops does it actually get? We oh, hang on, we'll engage. we'll go one more turn, so we've got yes. all the siege equipment we need. My lord, approaching quietly. I don't think the army at Goond is large enough to win. That's going to be a pain. This town really doesn't like us. I don't really know why. Is it because of culture? Yes, it is. Yes, Cultural unrest accounts for 60% of the current 90% of unrest. <laughs> so we need to convert them quicker. Try and get a shrine, but I doubt it. My lord. Your will, my lord. How are we all doing over here? Converging on the bridge. Your will, my lord. My lord. Your Sometimes will, my lord. they get in each other's way and they don't walk and it's very annoying oh we're still making money quite a lot of it even though we've got all these troops gathering just in random locations this army doesn't need to be that big because Basradum does not have a large garrison Hitsman <laughs> are you the guy going to Bree? you are why have you stopped yes we can go no further, my lord. Um, you might as well go ahead, and then the arm, the secondary force that's being recruited here. How big is that? Oh, relatively large. Perth and Loon doesn't have much, so if we can, if you go further in and go for Karis Kalainen, and then the forces being trained in Harlon link up with Zagarodin and go for Perth and Loon, that'll be that one taken out. You guys are going to take down Osgelon, so that's three over this side down in one go, four with Barketa. Basradum should fall, we'll have an army outside of that, so that's five, six with Royal Tharbad, so, and seven with Bree. So we'll get seven of their regions in one go, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. <laughs> um, which should absolutely take the wind from underneath them, or, uh, sorry, that's not the saying, is it? Take the wind out of their sails, or pull the rug from underneath them. Oh, hang on, we've got this army here, which will take Karbalakan, so that's eight. Oh, we're really going to we're really gonna ruin their day, aren't we? Oh, how long have we got until we need to sally out here? Not very long. Perhaps we should sally out. We've got three generals here. Oh, yes, I could really do with some of those elsewhere. We've got a ship. No, it was defeated, wasn't it, by rebels or something? Dunlending rebels. With all bloody things. Well, at least we know Castle Good Hope is safe for a long time. It's got an awful lot of sight range to in, to protect it, which is very handy. Let's end the turn and see what happens. See who goes where. Leaving the army. What Isengard's plan will be. Splitting the troops. Leaving I think the, the um, next law faction overview that I will do um, is probably going to be Dol Amroth because I am kind of going through getting my favourite ones out of the way first. Um, and I feel like as well Dol Amroth will have a little bit more to talk about in the lore side um, and then an awful lot less in the Dax side because we haven't really changed Ordered. anything um, will, in regards to their lore, sub anything substantial. Command. We've invented some bits and pieces but nothing major. Yeah, so I feel like Dol, uh, Dol Amroth will be the next one. If I say D some more that might help you appreciate what I'm talking about. Da -da 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 da Dol Amroth. Ooh, look, Forlorn could take two more. We've still got the money for it. But at a certain point... No, but then... It's always useful. If we chuck those in as well... And then we get the fall on ones. My lord. Yes. Take we a position. No today. Order. Join your will, my lord. Yeah. Yes. That'll do for now up here. Oh, it's not growing anymore. Get a farm. Oh, it doesn't need to, does it? It's the largest size anyway. 
Oh, I keep thinking I've ended the turn and I've not ended the turn. <laughs> oh, but, oh, well. Very frustrating. Oh, the armies have moved away. Now's our chance. Your orders, my lord. Oh, Lurtz, you're going to be so disappointed in your men. Why did they just abandon Attack! you? What on earth is their thinking? <laughs> Fools. Can you imagine if um, the faction leader is in Isengard and Lurtz is in Goond and if and we take both in the same turn and kill Isengard. How fantastic would that be? <laughs> right, all we need is the ridiculous amount of ranged units that we have. Um, and what, there's, there's two more we can add to that pile. Start the battle. They will likely run away to the hill, I would have thought. They often do. If they don't, then I'm brilliant. Everyone ready? Kill the Berserkers, please. That's such a shame that Lurtz has Berserkers because they're a terrible, terrible anti-archer unit. They have a very, very, very low... They have no shield and they have virtually no armour. So... They die so easily to arrow fire. Meaning that Lurtz, the fellow standing just there, looking exactly like Lurtz, is going to get massacred. Because he's got such a terrible bodyguard for this kind of thing. Our men have reached the gate with a battery ram. The battering ram has done its work. Oh, we might even get less with arrows. <laughs> Only half the enemy force remains. You guys move over there. Get a better angle on these. I don't really want arcing shots. That's the thing. Oh, brilliant. There we are. <laughs> I absolutely love archers. Oh, dear. I think that's partially why I like Bree as well, because they actually have a substantial archer following. Selection. Kill them all. Should we do this almost romantically? Let's send in our faction leader. And end Lurtz. It's time. Take him down. Oh, Lurtz. Of course, many of you will know, and if you don't know, here's some information for you. Lurtz is not in the books. He is entirely made up for um, the films. But of course, Isengard had commanders, and so it's one of those that no one, I don't think anyone in their right mind would complain that Lurtz has been added for the purposes of the film. Um, I suppose they haven't made him up as much as they've just named one of the nameless enemies who fight against the Fellowship. Um, and he was a badass in the films, let's be honest, so uh, he's a very general. popular general. Him, his troops will lose their will to fight. And mop up these last six. Only one of them knows what's about to happen, and the other five are blissfully unaware of their impending damnation. Behold, ah. a cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. I want them all dead. Yes! The slaughter! <laughs> this Why are you all walking away? Victory. Turn around! They do look good though, don't they? The household guard. Naru and Aru. No losses! Ah, oh, Kastamayate the mighty indeed. Well done, sir. We've seen this image before, and as before, I can't really tell you who I think it is. My guess, as I say, was Beren at the time, and others have suggested it might be Aragorn. But then Aragorn famously has dark hair, doesn't he, actually? So no, that's that's not. But then little things like that sometimes are overlooked by artists, aren't they? I don't know. I don't really draw anything, so I couldn't say. We have triumphed! 
Lord, let's sack it. Our courage and honor have conquered. Anything we can destroy, the wild breeder, bear with yourselves. Apologies for the loud noises. Otherwise, no, that's alright, actually. I'm ready to populate. Goond is a large town with a massive population, so why does it not upgrade? Oh. Oh, hold on. I think in this version, yes, it's locked, isn't it? Where's the green book? Special features? Oh, it doesn't tell you. Hmm. I'm assuming that it cannot go higher than it currently is, because otherwise it would be. Isengard would have upgraded it a long time ago. So we should have massacred everyone inside, really, because they're just going to hate us forever. But what we do need is some eyes on, because yes, there lord. was a large Isengard army here a moment Your ago. Orders, my lord. Who the hell is that? I'm gonna stick you. The new faction heir. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes, my lord. And we've caught so him out in the open. Oh, yes, us. please. As you command. We attack. The might of the f general's bodyguard of the Ard Ardenaim goes up against the Isengard Uruk bodyguard. <clears throat> I have a strong suspicion that we are going to win. Where did you go, you scum buckets? On top of the hill. Perfect. All right, you go left. You go right. Run. He had a very cool portrait, didn't he? There he is. With the officers and their very cool helmets. Of course, as you saw in the latest developer diary, in the next version, 2.3, the entire bodyguard unit will look like the officer. So they stand out more from the other Isengard units, which they are direct clones of. Right. Um, we want this one to attack first, because you're going to be down... You'll be attacking downhill. So you'll have a bit of a bonus. And then when they've turned around and so they lose the hill bonus, that's when our reinforcements will hit them in the back. Now they do have some, an advantage, because of course in this version, pre 2.2 or 1 or whatever it is, the spearmen have quite a significant debuff against swordmen, or all infantry, in fact. So they actually do, on paper, have quite a chance. But because we've now completely surrounded them, and the like stats this, of our units are insane, a 14 attack and a 30 defense, and we frighten enemy infantry, whereas they have an 11 attack and only a 24 defense. But of course there are more of them. Uh, oh, no, there's not. There's not. There were more of them than a single battalion of ours, but there's not more of them overall. And they are going to die. <clears throat> I'm not sure we've even lost a man yet, and they are getting massacred. Although our general's right at the front there. You'll see him, just this fellow here. He's fighting like a madman. And there's the other general. Hold on, you're the gen. You're him. <laughs> you. How have you gone all the way through the enemy battalion and fighting on the other side? I'm surprised there's still the 40 of them alive. It doesn't look like it, does it? it looks like there's about 12. I'm not sure where they're getting this 30 number from. And then I suppose they're into they're intermingled with many of our forces, and the blood stains on their now their bodies makes them look a little bit like they're wearing red capes. So it all blends together. Well, I wonder if he'll try and run away, actually. Where is the enemy general? They don't stand out very well, unfortunately. There he is. Ah, brilliant. Someone get him. Our men have yes! How our cowardly foe runs. It's time we to... awed by the yes! We have won seven! We lost seven. And Chief Nagthak, the tyrant of Isengard, is no more. Two heirs in as many minutes. How phenomenally useful is that? That is, of course, an image of Gondolin, the hidden city. And this eagle over here is like, you know you shouldn't be here, mate. 
bugger off. <laughs> it's quite a cool depiction of Gondolin, actually. The, the, the various depictions of Gondolin do vary massively. Sometimes it's depicted as like a single citadel, and other times it's depicted what I would consider more accurately as a fully fledged city. Right, merge those together. We're going to leave behind 34 of them. And... Ah, oh, we've got so many archers. Your orders, my lord. This ah, bugger. I'm gonna stick you. We can go and now Goon hates us. It's gonna rebel, isn't it? It's definitely going to rebel. We should have killed everyone. That was so such folly. But then I did think that we'd be able to upgrade it. That was my that was stupid, 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 stupid. Of course, that's not a restriction in even in your current games. The only restricted regions now in the game are the Shire, and that stands to reason. But nowhere else is. Um, so. You don't have to put up with that feature. By your command. Orders, my lord. As you wish. I think we can end the turn. Or shall we take Isengard? Oh. Yes. Is he even the faction leader, actually? Oh no, he's not. Uh, so no, we won't kill him. As you command. Oh my good god, they get five units of defenders. Bringing their number almost up to our number. It's just not worth it. It is just not worth it. I know we'd want to see Isengard, but it's not worth losing the entire Eastern army. Which is what will happen. Because the battle map yes, gives them such a good advantage. So I'm afraid I'm going to siege them out. Can't trade anything there. Only two more turns in Barad Vin, though. We have a load of units here who are waiting to join the fray, Your of course. Orders, my lord. You're yes. getting involved. Oh, you can trade yes, something. My lord. That'll do. Chuck in some bandits. We should rise up. They don't appear to be actually planning to attack us, so. We can't sit there forever losing troops. Must and this will likely end the episode. Another defense battle. of Tharban. <clears throat> Alrighty. Everybody near the gate? Near enough. See, I have no problem playing as an evil nation if I am predominantly human. I just really like playing as humans. Or humanoids, I suppose. But then orcs are humanoids, so that doesn't make sense. Um, by that, of course, I mean elves or dwarves. We don't actually have very many troops, and when you lay them out like that, loads of them have been weakened. They actually have quite a good shot here. But they obviously didn't think they had that great a chance, because they've never yet attacked me. So I don't know. Of course, their troops aren't very good, so we've got that in our favour. But let's not get caught out like we did last time, so... Oh no, that's way too close. Go there. We'll actually do it in properly, dare I say. We'll just go with one battle line though. Right, everyone into positions. Are we all through? Is anybody trapped on the gate? No, we're doing alright. They hate going through gates. It totally messes up the unit formations and I've never understood why. Oh, and the enemy's coming towards us. Just to make it a bit easier. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Good. Right, let's get you out onto the flanks. And we'll take the fight to them. Go, 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 go. Kill 
those wargs for me, please. He's our faction heir, I believe. It's just unfortunate that he looks identical to our faction leader. Oh dear, the Black Oaks of the Mountains are turning. They've pinned him. I've sent him to his death. <laughs> you there. Cut right through the middle. Charging wargs into spear units. An excellent spear unit. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh, I don't know. They're doing well there. Shoot whenever you can. But primarily shoot things that are shooting us. How are you doing against those black Uruks? Oh, well done. You're doing well. How's our general doing? Oh, he is getting hit. They've moved the crossbowmen into fight as well. They really want his head. Send in the other defense. The other defense? The general. Only half the enemy force remains. Get in there and assist. You guys go too. Everything we can do to help our general. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, I think we've saved him. They're routing. Routing across the board. We've just got this large standing army there that's still fighting against us. Oh, my general is now a... If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. He's being pursued by wargs. And he stands alone. Get him behind the archers. Go, 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 go. Where's the 25 of them? Fighting someone over there. Are you fighting or are you just chasing someone down? Oh, you're chasing someone down. Come back, come back. Charging against them. Are any of you got any answers? No. Just charge in. I'm sure you'll get them to break. And there we are. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Goblin infantry fighting on that long. That's ridiculous. The enemy general. We've captured the enemy's general. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Perfect. Our Heroic victory. 138, 177. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. 177 Azazaya Savages. 169 Baruthios Rangers. Battle of five armies. Not really a... An, I mean, would you... How many battles are named after the number of belligerents? Not that many, really. Surely the... Battle for Erebor is would be a better name. Or Battle of Erebor. Seeing as it takes place literally outside the mountain. But then I suppose, actually, there aren't very many battles that are named after the number of belligerents, so it stands out a little more than it maybe perhaps would. We have triumphed! Your orders, my lord. Oh, I really, 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 really want to attack and take Royal Tharbad so I can get troops over to the other side. <laughs> but I can't because we aren't ready yet. Ah, yes. Try and get that. Maybe. Small chance. Righty-ho, I think that's where this episode is going to end. We are really getting close yes. to our attack on um, Erod Lewin. I imagine it's only one or two episodes Lord, away now. They are only three turns away from Breeze, so... Our relations with them are poor. Could that be because we have two large banner armies standing outside towns? I think that might be something to do with it. We're waiting on the f the Fallon forces are training, so they're only two turns away. Harlon forces are training. They're also there'll be three turns because they've got to get in the ship. Oh, interesting! The ship uh, rally point has moved near the sea as well. Anyway, you come back and wait. Set sail. 
Mython, you're training troops for yourself, not for them. And I Nimruben don't. stands ready. We, we are so ready. We're just, we're just not there yet. <laughs> but anyway, that will conclude. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed it recording it. And until we speak again, my dearest friends, Navar Naden Pedamad Malunin, and farewell. <laughs>